So this is it then. The final ever... <laughs> I feel quite sad, it's weird. The final ever episode of the Wolfsburg Journeyman. We're moving on to fresher, greener pastures. You can't really get green in the Wolfsburg. It's literally green. Um, let's just see if we can do it. It's going to take a bit of luck. We're going to need some luck on our side. Come on, we're all Leverkusen supporters today. They've also got to play Gladbach, who are a decent mid-table side away from home. So there's a small chance of a slip-up. And if they do win, we want them to only win by a small margin. And hopefully we can smash whoever the fuck we're playing today. I've totally forgotten. Oh, Schalke. Oh, fuck. Okay, should we just get on with it then? Good luck, everyone. Greetings and salutations, my friends. Welcome to episode 47, I think, of The Journeyman. Let's just get straight to it. Let's just do it. When are Dortmund playing? They're playing at the same time as us for about the first time this entire season, so that's good. Okay, we've got a very, very tricky game away to Schalke. I think we play with our control formation... They play defensive anyway, so I'm hoping we can just do that. Uh, Overguard suspended, but we, Karim Mahmoud's just going to step straight in. No worries whatsoever there. It's all good. Going to keep the rest the same. I'm very happy with how the team's performing at the moment. Uh, Butlick has just gone off the boil a little bit, but you know, still 14 goals, 7 assists. Do you remember, he didn't even score for the first, I think, 10 games. He scored one goal, I think, in 10, 10 11 games. So... Been sensational in recent months. Renato Sanchez, still fantastic. Let's just let's just do it. Need to get a win to keep the pressure on. Ideally, we need to smash Schalke. Unlikely. Right. Um, who's Brand Huber? Why do I know him? Oh, I've tried to sign him for about three seasons. That's why I know him. Good luck, everyone. We think that uh, I never give up hope. Okay, not the best weather. Okay. <sighs> I'm nervous and a little bit sad that this is our final episode with Wolfsburg. I'm not going to stay regardless of what happens. I think I actually I might just resign and let the new manager take control. You know, it would give us a bit better of a chance of getting another job. You know, getting some interviews and stuff like that. I think I'm going to do my bit. And then maybe we're going to resign. Oh, my mood's taken a knock already. Twisted knee! He can't play with a twisted knee, can he? Good header away. Sanchez win that. Sanchez needs Brand Huber. Brand, he's really good. He's really good. Oh, fucking tits. He's got two twisted knees. He's twisted both his knees. What in the fuck? <laughs> we got to take him off. Oh, that okay. This is not okay. This has not been the best start, my friends. <sighs> okay, let's have a look at the latest scores. If Dortmund are winning, it's game over. It's they're drawing nil nil. Okay, still early. Oh no, counter attack. They're not going to score two. They've never scored two in their history. Oh, my word. Yeah, that's not been the best start. Our injury to our only left back left and conceded. Fuck off with your replay. Shitty tits. Right, we really need Glad back to win now. <laughs> How have they scored two? They've barely had a shot. Okay. It's not been ideal. Quicksilver's coming on for butt liquor. It's getting old. Maybe he just needs a... I mean, he needs just to shore up this defence. Cracked a little bit under the pressure. They're still nil-nil, which is not good enough. Not good enough. That'll give them the title. If we lose, they draw. It's over. The dream is dead. Going attacking. Come on, ne we're never going to score three against bloody Schalke. I think if we score one, we'll be very lucky. 
Okay, just get fucking stuck into him. Oh, he's missed the tackle again. Oh, my God. They are a very good team. Are they winning? Are they winning? Oh, they're fucking hell. They're 3-0 up. They just scored fucking three goals in nine minutes. Okay, that this this episode... Go on. Oh, Nedgeland, you've got to score that. This episode has not gone entirely to plan. I, I, there's no point. I don't think there's any point. It's not the way I wanted to end it, guys. Just in case you didn't know that that's not the way I wanted to end it. I didn't want to end with the 3 0 defeat whilst Dortmund are winning 3 0. 4 0. Yeah, I don't think it would have mattered at this point now because their goal difference... Even if they lost the last game by a goal, we would need to have won it 6 or 7 nil. It's just poor. It's just poor. Let's try and get a goal. Come on, let's push it up. Push it up. Push it real. Let's go for the old weird thing. I don't even know what that is. Looks like a weird space invader. Let's get a goal, boys. Come on. It's not the way not the way it was supposed to. 5-0. Five 5-0 nil. Five nil up now. Okay. Six they're six nil up. <laughs> we want seven. We want seven. We want seven. Yeah, okay. That's quite a Forgetting the points, that's quite a goal difference swing. It's a nine goal swing on the goal difference. Yeah. Yeah, Schalke are a good team. Well, let's have a look at the table. Yeah, they've done the double. It's out for 11 days. Going to miss the last game of the season. <sighs> Twelve goal difference now, yeah. So even in the moon, I don't think it would have mattered one bit. But let's play the last game. Let's enjoy. I think we might get the return of Ted Hesp for our last game with him. I'll see you in a sec. Right here we go. Final game of the season. A couple of familiar faces coming into the team. Dear Kite, who's been like just a solid player for us for a number of seasons. Two, three, four, five, nine seasons. Absolutely sensational. He's coming in as the ball-winning midfielder. Sarmiento, our rock-solid centre-back's coming back in. Going to play Ted Hess for our final game. See if we can get him a goal just to finish the season on a high. Nijland, of course, is playing. Um, so we're going to play this game. And then we're going to have a sort of brief chat about what we're going to do next season. Or, or, or more importantly, who we're going to try and bring in, take up with us, rather. I think Nijland is... Number one, my number one priority. I'd like to know what you guys think in the comments. Um, any of the fullbacks, really, apart from Paslak, just because he's old. But any of the other three fullbacks, I'd love to bring in. Um, either Antwi or Scott Welsh, I think, would be a great signing. But Nidgeland's, Nidgeland's the one I want. It's got to be the Nidge. And I'm on his favoured personnel, I checked. So that's going to be a good sign if we try and sign him. Right, come on, let's finish the season on a high. Stuttgart are a decent side. <sighs> come on, the Hesp. Get us a goal, mate. Get us a goal. Steve Brown would be nice, but he'd cost the earth to buy. Okay, Teddy Hesp with a free kick. He's hit the post. Story of the second half of his season, unfortunately. Let's see if Dortmund are winning. Amon as well. Amon is a superb centre-back in the making. Looks very, very good. Sanchez is a possibility. Nidgeland. Lovely ball through to Scott Welsh. And there he goes. Another guy, a goal even for the Scotsman called Scott Welsh. It's just really confusing. Lovely ball. Nidgeland with the assist because he does a lot of them. Oh, just a cheeky dink through. Welsh with the left peg. Bottom corner. Job done. Bish bash bosh. Three. The Dortmund winning? No. <clears throat> All right, I want to finish on a win. 
I have applied for a job, the first big job that's become available, which is the Tottenham job. They've just sacked their manager, as expected, because they're having a bit of a shocking season. They've they've got everything set up. They've got good facilities. They've got a sixty one thousand seater stadium. They look like a perfect team to sort of win the Premier League. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna win the. We're gonna win something in this fucking game. So hopefully that was that's a good shout. Um, also Bournemouth would be brilliant. It's it's like oh he's done really well there. Nidgeland. Oh Nidgeland, lovely ball across. Teddy Hess with the goal. The Dutch Masters one more time, getting the goals for us. Lovely little send off from the two Dutch Masters. Nidgeland with an amazing run there. Cuts it across unselfishly. Easy finish. Even for Hesp in his current form. Can't miss that. Lovely stuff. Yeah, like the Bournemouth, I think it's they're only insecure. They're like 17th in the league or something like that. I think it would be a great shout because that's my hometown. It's like I'm going home. Football's going home. There's a song about that. So I mean, right. Half time, two nil up. A Dortmund winning. Just please win Dortmund, just so it just looks better. Um, mm, no, not going to make any changes. Two assists for Nijlands. Crazy. Let's say well done. Start the second half. Dortmund a two nil up. I can't believe we're going to finish the season on eighty six points and not win the league. I'll show you afterwards the previous seasons. We would have won the league in nearly every other season with that many points. <clears throat> Let's give Antwi some time as well. Another one of my favourites. Sarmiento would be a very good signing, but he'd he'd cost an incredible amount of money as well because he's proper world class. Depending on where we go, how much money we're going to save. If we did stay, I think we've already been given the budgets and it's like 40 mil, 48 million or something like that. So I'm hoping for an increase on that if we can find a rich club. Antwi, thread it through, mate. Go on. Overgaard. No, Overgaard. That's poor. But Sarmiento. Back to Diakite. A goal from Diakite would be a nice little finisher. Overgaard. Oh, lovely jump the tackle. Antwi, can you cut it across? That's unlucky. Uh, dangerous counter attack. No, great tackle. Sanchez onto Kippers, dinks it forward to Hesp, back to Antwi, to Sanchez. That's a lovely ball. I think he's on side. Yes, Nijlan with the goal. He's deserved one for his performance today. It's his twenty seventh of the season. Superb performance from Nijland. <clears throat> realistically money wise we might only be able to because these are top notch players now we might only be able to afford to be able to buy one of these players and if i could have one player it's it's nidgeland all day all right can we get another goal 70 minutes on the clock dear kite is gonna thread a, another genius through balls decent teddy hey! Yes! Both strikers getting a brace. Beautiful stuff. It's 4 0. We're finishing with pride. What Dortmund? The Dortmund are 3 0 up. Lovely ball through. Hess, little deflection. Pizarro with some dreadful goalkeeping. It's 4 0. I'm glad we finished the season with a good win. I'm very, very happy. Let's have a little goodbye to Azapura um, and koulibaly has been a very very good signing for us so we'll bring him, bring him on for the last couple of minutes can we make it five can Nidgeland get his hat trick this might be the last time we ever use him so it would be amazing if he could get a hat trick of goals and two assists as well All right Overgaard charging forward and then just gets tackled lazy lazy Overgaard Right, long ball forward. Easy to defend that, but it's going to come back. Kippers play. Overguard's making the run, but he doesn't use him. Through to Hesp, to Sanchez. Plays it back to Antwi, to Hesp. Hesp turns. Hesp shoots. Hat trick for Hesp. Out of nowhere. He, he just needed a rest. It's number five. 
beautiful stuff from the team there. What a send off! They know I'm. They know I'm leaving, and this is their little present. Could have fucking done that against that shitty team that we drew nil nil against, couldn't they? Not that that would have mattered now. Uh, Dortmund are three nil up, and they're down to ten men. <clears throat> I, I can't be disappointed with this season. Obviously, I am. But, you know, we've performed so, so well this season. There it is. 5-0, our last ever game at the Wolfsburg Arena. Volkswagen Arena. Soon to be the Jeco Stadium. Well done, passionate. Well done, boys. It's all we could have done. Um, let's have a look at the league table. <clears throat> So, yeah, look, <clears throat> 86 points, like the winners last year, 79, 81. 90 was the biggest win, and that was because Dortmund went the whole season unbeaten. 80, 83, 79, 83, 74. We would have won nearly every single season <laughs> apart from this one. Uh, Falhaber is settled into life at, at Red Bull. Um, he played 15 games after we sold him 21 million. No goals, but this season's done much better. Hesp leads the way. Let's praise his performance. <clears throat> I'm not a fan. Like, personally, I'm not a fan of Hesp. Like, he's a very, very good player. But, you know, I've, I've, I'm disappointed with, you know, the, his sulkiness, wanting to leave. Like, for 80% of the time he's been at the club, he's wanted to leave. Let's look at the season as a whole. Um, who made the most appearances? Nidgeland with the most appearances. 35 starts, 27 goals and 14 assists. Absolutely incredible. Most goals, obviously Nidgeland. Hess with 19. Butlicker with 14. Scott Welsh with an incredible 13. And then assists-wise, it was all Kippers and Nidgeland. 10 and, and, a 10 and 14. Mahmood as the left-back with 8. Very good. Let's have a look at average ratings. Renato Sanchez... With 7.69. Key passes. That's up. Like, Nidgeland again. 52. Key headers. Uh, Koulibaly. Absolutely superb in the air. 87 key headers. That is fantastic. Let's have a look. We'll probably get the sort of player of the season. And we'll see who wins the also the Champions League. Oh, I can't, yeah, I can't. You know, it's fine. We did what we could. We tried our best. We went down fighting. All right, I like to see... Player of the season's got to be Nidgeland, doesn't it? Player of the season has to be Nidgeland. Signing of the season, I'd probably say Renato Sanchez has been an excellent signing. What did he get for half a million for his target? That's not too bad, is it? <clears throat> um, Renato Sanchez was probably the signing of the season. Young player of the season... Could be Scott Welsh. Because he, he scored some incredible goals. That's going to be a sad day. So, on to the Premiership we go. I'm going to resign after, as soon as we see the... Because uh, I don't want to get tempted into doing another season. This is it. It's over. Here we go. Um, yep, yep, yep. Oh, look at that. Nidgeland induced into the inducted into the Wolfsburg best 11 there it is deservedly so um end of season rewards Nidgeland with 48 percent Yao with 22 Kippers with 18 Butlicker with the goal of the season we'll have a look at that in a minute signing the season Patrick Amon I'm very surprised he's been very good don't get me wrong but I'm surprised about it. this is the goal of the season I'm never I never think this is right it's never usually that good a goal let's see it was I don't remember Butlicker scoring scoring a worldie so Kippers plays it to Nidgeland, slots it through to but turns and shoots. It's, it's a good goal, but I've had at least five, ten more than that this season. Let's hold a team meeting. Win the title. Do you really think we're capable of becoming champions? I'm really, really. I bet Nidgeland wasn't in that group. No, because Nidgeland knows we can do it. That's ridiculous. I should just sell if I was staying. I'd what Nidgeland's not happy. What Nidgeland? Oh, confusing those team meetings always just confuse me right let's do it goodbye Wolfsburg you are a faithful friend and I very much enjoyed my time in you 
dirty. Right. Bum bum. We have resigned as manager. Oh, I feel sad. There we go. Ended his... Accumulated 15 years of experience with the likes of Lazio, Venlo. Um, Pundits in media are already expecting a high profile in Marcello. Okay, that's good. Um, who's left? Harry Owen didn't leave. Yap Stan did. I can't believe Harry Owen didn't... We'll poach him anyway, but I can't believe Harry Owen didn't leave. I'm tempted to get Yap Stan as my assistant now. I was going to get Harry Owen, but I'm I'm very disappointed in you, Harry. Let's have a look at the uh, old job job centre. Crew, Bolton, and Tottenham. Okay, let's declare our interest in it. See if we can get the old stuff moving. Let's uh, have a look at the other big teams. We've got uh, Werder Bremen, Stuttgart. We're not staying in Germany. Uh, the Bayern job did tempt me because they're about to sack their manager. It did tempt me because that would be a good chance to overthrow Dortmund. But no, it wouldn't feel right. I feel like I'm cheating on Wolfsburg. We've got the Norwich job. I'm just not that bothered about Norwich. Oh, I don't have enough you know, wants to play as Norwich manager, even if they are good. Now, see, Newcastle... I'd be tempted because they've got they're rich. Maybe if they if they're going down, I might even be tempted to do championship because we'd have a season of rebuilding Newcastle. We'd have money to spend, and we should easily get promotion. They're a rich club. Players are going to want to come. Hey, we're going to miss out on big players. Though. We're not going to be able to bring Nidgeland to Newcastle in the championship. He'd eat them alive. Yeah, maybe not. Maybe not then. Oh, that's the, that, that sounds like an interesting one to me. I don't mind if it's a little bit of a project. We're going to stay there a few years. Any other ones? Everybody else is insecure. Then we've got stable ones. Bournemouth is is tempting. Hopefully that becomes available. Right, my friends, that is it. Unfortunately, we couldn't do it this season, but fuck me, did we not try our best. We gave it everything we had. I, I can't be disappointed in the way we played. We didn't bottle job. Dortmund were just the better team of the season. They just crushed it, and we just desperately tried to keep pace, and we just couldn't hang on. But it's... It's been one of my favourite seasons. I hope you've enjoyed it too. Please leave a like if you did. Subscribe if you're new to the place. Although this would be a weird place for your first ever video of mine. But welcome if that's the case. Let me know, you know, thoughts on next club. Just to let you know, I'm 95% sure it's going to be England, right? Because it's going to be my final club of the journeyman. So I'm 95% sure it's going to be England. Unless, there's, you know, Real Madrid, Barcelona. But then even then... If we look at ourselves, because the whole reputation system is broken in this game, um, you know, I'm not going to get a Real Madrid Barcelona job. Look at it. It's a pile of shit, my attributes. I'm three and a bit stars. It's it's not exactly world beating, so I don't see myself getting any of those big jobs. But like I said, it's, it's most likely to be England, so... Um, yeah, let me know which clubs you'd be interested in. Forgetting the ones that are actually available, but is there any ones that you'd like? Like Bournemouth, because it's my hometown club. Um, Liverpool would be the dream, but they're still doing well in the league. So unless, like, you know, Bayern, who are just about to sack their manager, poach Simeone. Mm -hmm. Do it, Bayern. Um, or Wolfsburg, because they're a big team now. They're four and a half star potential. They're bigger than Liverpool, so maybe they could poach them. There's, there's hope for us. But let me know what you think, guys. Thank you very much for joining me. <sighs> it's been an emotional season. It's been a good season. Really enjoyed it. Now, let's next club, let's fucking win some stuff, yeah? Let's, let's win one of these, shall we? Let's win one of these. Champion. <laughs> right. Thank you very much. See you next season.